everyone welcome back to my channel thank you for joining us again for another video as you may or may not know we are a family of six living in the uk and we have been home educating our children for eight years now so our way of educating the kids is pretty laid back we let them follow their own interests whilst also adding in a few things that we think they need to know or that will be useful for them in the future or that's useful for them now and yeah we just try and have fun with it just learn fun things and enjoy what we're learning as well that's what it's all about so i came across these boxes a couple of months ago called the kiwi boxes and they are part of steam education which is science technology engineering art and maths and it means that all them subjects are in with one activity so they're learning many different things whilst having fun doing it these boxes are a subscription and i have only ever had one box for them each and i probably won't be ordering them again just yet because they are quite expensive and they did take about two well about just over two weeks to come because they came from abroad so we will we will have them again because the kids really really enjoyed them um but yeah we got a 50 percent code off and i can't find that code again so what they have got at the minute is 30 percent off if you sign up to the newsletter and that's 30 percent off your first box so you can have that first box try it out and then cancel your subscription and you don't have to have it again so these boxes are catered to all different ages so you go on the website and you pick a box that would suit your child um what they're into and yeah you just have a look on there you can see past boxes and i think you can see upcoming boxes i'm not sure but kira is 13 and she had the eureka crate which is for ages 14 to 104 and that was um engineering and design and that was a real cool little activity that she enjoyed it did take her a couple of hours to do and but she really enjoyed it gabriel had the tinker crate which is for ages 9 to 16 and that is science and engineering and he absolutely loved it he wants another box so we'll definitely be getting him another box phoenix had the kiwi crate which is for ages five to eight now i got this one even though he is only three i did look at the ones that were aged two to four and some of the activities just didn't look like like obviously you know your child so i know that phoenix would have been bored with them they were a bit young for him but you might want to try that with your child so every child's different so you can actually look and see what sort of things are in the box before you buy it so phoenix had the kiwi crate and that was science art and more and he really enjoyed it but he did need a bit of help from his sister and a bit of help from me but overall he enjoyed the end product so this video gives you a really good look inside the boxes what sort of materials they use the kids build them and yeah they'll show you the finished product so i hope you enjoy the video if you do give it a like and thank you so much so phoenix received the kiwi crate and he is building well it's helping getting help from kira to build an arcade so it says create your own arcade claw game with pom-pom prizes so here yeah. are all the bits that we got. Oi, what's going on? Kira's hasn't come yet, so you're helping Phoenix, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Phoenix, show what we've built so far. Uh, what are the prizes? What are you going to be grabbing? Uh, Who are these? Uh, Be Betty and Kevin. Betty and Kevin, you've called them. So we made these little pom-pom-like creatures quite easy. But this box is for five years and up, so I had to do a bit of it. Um... Phoenix, you stuck the eyes on, didn't you? Yeah. And learnt what these materials were, pipe cleaners and the like the wool, the yarn. So yeah, we've made two of them and then we're gonna Whoa. make a grabber, aren't we? So show us the bits. Uh, so we've got these little bits here. These. Yeah. Kira's currently trying to figure out them from the instructions. Mm -hmm. Quite easy instructions Mom, as well, step by step. Mum, mm -hmm. Kira's mad. I'm Why? Mad. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why can't you not understand them? No. <laughs> I'm not mad. Yeah. Why am I mad? He was mad because he take one of the stickers. Oh yeah, we need uh, one of the orange stickers, but we don't need them.
so it comes with this little comic book as well little magazine to experiment learn and play and it's just a little like cartoon for kids of them going to like an arcade and winning prizes then it's got like draw it yourself so you're learning like shapes there phoenix this is something for you to do in a bit yeah in a minute then you've got make a penny arcade so you've got different things there uh, another little game you can make yeah um, then it's telling you here all about different arcades from the past like that um, pinball, ski ball, a claw game so all different types of games so we'll give that a read in a bit uh, build your own arcade so these little crafts you can do here and then this is the claw game so this is this is what they'll be building the claw and the little monsters the grab like the monsters what you grab and it's really good because the box it came in you can transform that so you don't really need anything apart from like scissors so you can use everything that comes so we're going to turn that box into the little arcade game phoenix so it should end up looking like that and then here you're going to help me cut out all these phoenix to turn your box into no, a grab machine yeah. yeah you've got a little follow that pinball because you've been doing these lately haven't you following it all around with your pen so we'll do that in a minute so that's brilliant so kira is that the end no it's of it or no, you're halfway through stuff, okay show us so just, far you have to just pull the string pull the string that's good let me see if it actually it's good quality as well isn't it? <laughs> ah. phoenix. oh no so phoenix can have a little go in a minute when it's finished yeah i'll put them in the pens no don't put them. so phoenix has just colored in the sign to go on top of the machine the grab machine very nice phoenix lots of colors maybe we should put some more bright colors on this one like these letters like some oranges maybe or reds or pinks i'll put Blue. Okay. Dark blue. And I'll put green. Okay. And we've cut these out. So you Do cut like, like yeah, so you cut little um decorations to go on your box out so you've got all there and then we've cut a hole, hole in the top of the box there what we got the thing in the kit in and then we're going to cut the front panel out so we can see what we're grabbing okay. so phoenix you're decorating the machine now aren't you yeah, yeah. okay where are you going to put that one i'm going to put this one here yeah, go put this on over here. Okay, you put enough glue on? Yeah. Put some more on in a minute. Right, so we need to do this little one here. Okay. So put some glue on the back of that one. As much as you can. That's it. Okay. Stick that on. And you do need that side. Okay. Cool. Very good. Uh, this is the finished arcade game. <laughs> so Phoenix is going to try and use his claw oh, ah! wow look at that he's going to try and use his claw you might have to stand up phoenix you might have to stand up hard. and try and go in with it pull yeah <laughs> hold on then let's put it on its side then let's put it on its side so you were meant to put a plastic sheet over here, but I thought it'd be easy for Phoenix if we just left that open. Like that, right, you ready? Yeah. So hold it like that. Okay, maybe you want to... No, let go like there. Yeah. So it's easier. You have to pull it strong. And then pull the string. I'll direct Can you. Pull, you. It? pull Pull the string. Let go. There you go. Oh, oh come try on. again. Yeah. Try again. Solomon, very weird. Do you want me to hold it and you pull the string? It's really big though. Let go. Yay! Yay! You have, to let, you have to pull. It is meant to be for oh. age five. That's probably why it's a bit hard. Oh, that's not too bad. So you do have to. <laughs> it, was he holding that bit on the end? Yeah, but it's easy if you hold it. You do that. have to hold that bit, bit, mate, and then you'll get the hang of it. 
and you can put all the toys in and grab all the things Magic with it. Axe. Yeah. Apple yeah. yeah, and you can try to grab your other toys with it. Hey. So this is STEAM Learning, which stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Art and Maths. So they've got five subjects in one activity. So we're having a little look at Gabriel's box now. And he has got this motorised... Um, What's it called, Gabriel? Spin machine. Spin machine, like a spinning yeah, paint like machine. Uh, spin art. So you create spin art um, using the box that everything was sent in again. So nothing's wasted. Mm -hmm. So he's got to follow these instructions. On the side. Yeah. So he's got to prepare his box first. And he's even got to make up a motorboard. Um, with batteries and wires and everything. So that should be good because he's, he's never done anything like that, have you, Gabe? No. Right. And I think his set was for the, I think it was 11 to, no, I think it was 9 to, 9 to 13 years maybe. Spinning science. Sticking it on the on this mm -hmm. or here. Okay. That's it. And then to the to the, like the wall of the box. Okay. Ta-da. Stick this on there with this red thing. So Gabriel's done all the instructions. Got some iron. Yeah, this is his finished product, and he's going to about to turn it on. So hopefully it says flip the switch on the battery pack. Oh, <gasps> that is so cool! I want to put my hand in it. <laughs> oh, look at it! It was like the dryer. <laughs> Whoa! Put your paper in. So it's in the foams, like, um, if you get me. That's what the foam's for. All right. So, next step. You've done. put the paper in, then it says, turn on the spin machine while it's spinning, slowly drip some of the paint pen on Ooh. the paper. Are you ready? Try adding different colours and placing paint in different spots. It's going to fling everywhere. So you could, like, just drip it, or you could just drizzle it. What's or... this one here? Oh, is that what you have to put on it? Probably. Alright, ready? <sighs> Mini, move. Magic. Okay. Uh -huh. That's it, stop. So Gabriel's added all the colours, he's going to get it out in a minute okay. when it stops spinning oh. and have a look what it turned out like. Oh, it, it, sorry, but it's so cool how it? it works, how it, it spins. Looks so cool. It looks pretty cool. It looks like there's. It looks like there's. Okay, lift it up. Not. Right, Phoenix, move. Look at that. Let's have a look. It's not the best, but look at that. That's pretty cool. So I'm going to do it again. It's still. Oh, that's good. That's nice. I like the orange spreading around, and yeah. then there's yellow. Yeah. Nice, we'll have to let that dry and you can yeah. put that on the wall. We can get more paint as well from here. You could draw change. something over it once it's dry. Can you get some paint? Yeah, yeah in a minute. Yours. Hey! That's for you. Right, you can do another one. Okay. 
Okay, so this done. is another one Gabriel's just made. Hold it up. Wow. So I'll just show you Kira's little box she got. She got a mechanical lock box from the Eureka Crate, which is for ages 14 and up. So she did this all on her own even before I could even look in the box. And she found it quite challenging, but she did it all on her own. And this was the finished product. So I'll take that painting off. So this was Kira's end result, and it's really good. She gets a little key that goes in there like that goes into the box and then opens like that and it's really good quality it's quite big so she can get she's going to put that in a bedroom somewhere i think it took her about two hours so in kira's little book that came with it she's got the instructions and then Lots of other different information about locks and different things like that. So this is behind the design. Then she's got a pin tumbler lock and all about that. How it's built, how it works, like how we like a keyhole works. And she's got unpickable locks, some information. And key innovations in lock technology, all different types of lock information there. Secret safe activity as well. So got another little activity she can make um, for a secret safe on the bookshelf so yeah so you're not just getting um, the activity itself and the instructions you're getting loads of information as well to do with your item that you've made